Right, so we have super sus renders of the iPhone SE 3 that completely go against everything we've heard about this device. And so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so the source of the report is XLeak7. Now this source hasn't been very credible in the past. For example, this was the iPad mini render. And of course, you can see the renders are completely off from the actual design we got. And so yeah, do bear that in mind as we delve into these new renders of the iPhone SE 3. So the first thing you notice with these interesting renders is of course the front of the device. So obviously a ton of credible sources have made it clear the SE3 is going to look identical to the SE2, which of course is based on the iPhone 8, which is based on the iPhone 6. But this render seemingly goes against that. Instead, it gives us thin bezels and an iPhone 12 style notch. Now, when I initially saw this, I thought the design was being based on the 10R or 11, since of course, Apple does usually recycle older designs with their SE models. But no, what's interesting is that X League 7 believes the actual body is going to stay the same. So this is going to have the same dimensions as the SE2, but of course, with a bigger screen on the front. And that bigger screen is around 5.7 inches, so roughly the size of an iPhone 10. And that's where this render kind of falls apart, because of course, we know the SE in previous years has been based on older designs. That's how the SE is so cheap. It's because 90% of the components are being recycled from an older iPhone that's still in production. But this goes completely against that, since this technically is an all new design, an all new size, an all new body for the iPhone, and Apple's simply not going to invest a ton of R&D into the SE3 to make it an all new iPhone. What's even weirder about these renders is of course the back of the device where the Apple logo is actually not centered. And well, I just don't see Apple going back to that design. Obviously with the iPhone 11, they made it clear they want the back to be super minimal and just have a logo in the middle. And so of course, I expect the SE3 to have that as well. The source actually does end their report with information that does make sense, and that's regarding the release. We should see it launch in either March or April, and that does corroborate with other sources. But coming back to the design, I think these renders are completely false. And personally, I do unfortunately see Apple retaining the iPhone 8 body with the SE3. But of course, a redesign would be a nice surprise. And if that was the case, then do expect Apple to redesign the iPhone XR or the 11, but do not expect them to keep the iPhone 8 body and redesign that. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. But tell me your thoughts on these renders in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPad 10. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.